Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. News Trump stunned at what Alabama players just did to him in the Oval Office, never done before. It is tradition that when sports teams win championships, they visit the White House as part of the celebration and it's an honor to do so. All of the major professional sports teams do it as well as college teams. However, it's become an opportunity for hateful athletes to protest, disrespect the president, and encourage more hate against our administration for their advantage. While many players and total teams have come out to publicly decline the invitation, even before it was offered, the University of Alabama Crimson Tide football team accepted. They had their visit with the president on Tuesday and while there, did something for Donald Trump that left him, and now the rest of the country, in complete awe. When given the option to make a public statement with their visit and leave an impression on fans and fellow Americans with their message, this college team used it for incredible good, rather than hate. What they did there has never been done before and was an amazing gesture for the leader of our nation. The Daily Wire reports. On Tuesday, the University of Alabama Crimson Tide football team visited the White House to meet President Donald Trump after their win in the national championship. During the team's visit, WBRC News Sports reporter Christina Chambers captured a video of the team taking a moment to pray for the president. The president was particularly impressed by their prayer and blessing of protection over him as he continues to lead our nation out of the darkness he was left with from his predecessor. We are a Christian nation and Trump is proud of that and doesn't apologize or try to hide it. For that, he publicly thanked this incredible and faithful team. Today, it was my great honor to welcome the 2017 NCAA football national champion, Alabama Crimson Tide, to the White House. Congratulations! Hashtag Roll Tide Trump tweeted on Tuesday. The official account for the Alabama Crimson Tide's football team advertised their visit they were proud of, champions visit the White House hashtag Roll Tide hashtag national champions. What also needs to be brought to light is what happened when this team won the championship that led them to the White House. The final game of the college football season was tense from the start and ended with a win for Alabama in overtime. While it was an incredible game to watch, nobody is talking about the score, touchdowns, win, or defeat today after one entitled player made the main event all about his hate for President Donald Trump. However, 24 hours after the win, we learned that it's not what Alabama's running back said that's most shocking, it's what the team's quarterback did on live television, immediately after the win. This speaks even louder than the FU to Trump that both Scarborough shouted and is sure to cause some major anger among spectators who missed it. Alabama's starting quarterback was out and their freshman player in line for the position was thrust into the spot for the biggest game of the season. Despite not having started at all since being accepted onto the team, Tua Tagovailoa was forced into the most intimidating position possible for a player his age, so early in his career. He ran onto the field determined to win and accomplish that against all odds, leading his team to an unbelievable victory. It was an incredible moment and when interviewed about it immediately after he only had one thing to say and used his moment of attention on live television, with everyone watching, to say it. While the running back was making disparaging remarks about the president, the quarterback had the perfect defense to his teammates' disgusting behavior with what he told the reporter. The left is celebrating the Bo Scarborough for telling Trump to FCK off and now they're about to say the same to Tagovailoa for what he wasn't afraid to say. The Daily Caller reports. Tua Tagovailoa is a name you should know. Tagovailoa all but single-handedly won the national championship game for the Alabama Crimson Tide over the Georgia Bulldogs Monday night. The freshman from Hawaii was not the starter for the national championship game, or any game this season for that matter. He went in to command the offense for 166 yards and 27 yards rushing in the second half, finishing 14 for 24 in the most important game of the season. Tagovailoa also threw the game-winning touchdown in overtime a dead arrow strike to wide receiver Devonta Smith, clinching the title. When asked what went through his mind after his coach told him he was going to start, Tagovailoa said he wanted to thank someone. First and foremost, I just want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, with whom all things are possible. That's what happened tonight. Tagovailoa went on to thank his family and teammates before saying again. In this moment it means the world but at the same time all glory goes to God. I can't describe what he has done for me and my family. I thank God for that. Wow! This quarterback proved himself as a hero in two huge ways in one night, he brought his team to a win in overtime after being underestimated all season and then publicly thanked God for getting him there, no matter who is offended by his religious sentiment. It's a stark contrast from the beginning of the game with Scarborough only thought he was a hero but came out as a loser against our president and country.
two players on the same team, one honorable and gracious, the other offensive and racist. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.